Hello everyone, welcome to KV channel, it's Water. This time we are in Kyoto, Japan, and we are going to check in Grand Bell Hotel. This hotel is located in Jiangmachi. Jiangmachi is a very famous place in Kyoto for tourism, because uh, over there, the Hanami Road, Shirakawa, Nishichi Market, and uh, Yasaka Shrine and Kumis Dera all in the working distance. The hotel is very close to Shiju and Kamo River. It take about a twenty dollar by taxi from Kyoto sta Station to this hotel. Now we walk from Shiju to our hotel, and uh, you can see a lot of people wear kimono because uh, they can rent the kimono in the sh this area. For fun. Now we are at the front gate of the Grand Bell Hotel. You can see the name. It's very hard to see the name when you close by the hotel if you're not sh first time, if, especially for the first time visitor. And also, I don't think uh, the front the front hotel is uh, wheelchair and uh, baby stroller easy accessible. You can see the stair. It's no definitely no ramp over there. For me, I travel with baby with a stroller every time I need a carriage stroller over there. We just pass the autom two automatic door, that's a good easy access. And on this side, that's the guest check-in area. And uh, this opposite side, that's the guest waiting area, you get some word decoration. And uh, this is the restaurant section. You, If you book your room with breakfast, you can enjoy the Western and Japanese style the breakfast buffet in the morning. And uh, this is our room, 212. Now we're gonna use the car key to open the door to show you the room. Now we get inside the room. That's a uh, pretty tiny room. Now we had to put the car key inside of this uh, machine. So, so that's why this way you will o you can open the light. Also you won't open the light if you not put the car key inside of that machine. Okay, see that's how wide is this over here? Because they put a mirror to look a little bit bigger, but actually it's really narrow. Over there, you get some coat hanger for your coat, and a lower for the sh for your some other stuff. And it's get some sleeper, and you can see there's a round one. That's the garbage. That's for the I think either for the re umbrella, and uh, you can over here. This is. Uh, sink. Most of the sink is supposed to be in the bathroom because this room is so tiny they have they have no room to put it in this washroom so they have to leave it there. It's very awkward if you want to wash your hand after you use the washroom. And uh, this two to Bridget toilet very advanced and you get the remote control mounted on the wall. You can control the seat and the fashion toilet. Yeah the little one seems very interesting on this stuff. No. Okay, now you get a bus towel over here, and uh, you get a bus stall, and uh, complimentary with uh, shower, with uh, with uh, shampoo, conditioner, and a body wash, and also hand soap. Over here, let's check the bottom. This is a hair dryer. That's something helping you put on shoe. This is emergency light. You know, the lot and the safe and uh, safe safe over here shoe polisher and also the laundry bag. This is uh, very unique stuff. I think in Japanese hotel. Over here you get uh, some stuff helping you washing, take off your makeup. You know lots. Of Japanese woman put lots of very strong on the makeup, and then some tea, tea bag, and the coffee, coffee, and uh, to make it, you can make your tea, and uh, this is for use of the tea bag, because it won't dirty your table, <laughs> very thoughtful, and uh, this the light, control the light, really this hide, <laughs> really good place. It's been uh, take us uh, quite a while to find that light, and uh, this is the kettle. You can make your tea, no coffee pot. But uh, this is a stand that's really nice. Put over here, save it lots of room space. And uh, this is a mini bar fr fridge. You can put lots of stuff inside. Now this side, this is a TV with Apple TV. And uh, 
you can if you have Apple account you can enjoy TV now that's it the king size bed and uh, occu this bed occupied about one third of the room and uh, all the control and the drop is control is on the side of bed you have to walk across the bed to get the set switch now this is the cock with the USB charger the wheel outside is pretty it's uh, they want to make it nice but uh, it's, you don't have too much room only can see some new growth some trees no gonna check this side that's the air condition and uh, let's get a sitting pot light yeah let me take around that's the room it's uh, not big definitely not big over here you got a sofa you can Okay, this is the review of this uh, Grand Bay Hotel room. Oh, well, there are one more important stuff I forgot to introduce. That's uh, it's very important for Japanese people. You know, lots of tourists that come to Japan want to enjoy the Osen Hotel. Osen Hotel, you will get a soak in the bus stop. But uh, this ho hotel is not Osen Hotel, but uh, you will get a similar experience because uh, this hotel come as a guest, you are complimentary with the big, huge bus stop. That's it in the basement of the hotel. Over here, I want to make an apology for the viewer. I took the video for this shower. No, not shower, it's a bus stop, huge and really nice bus stop. But uh, I lost the video by accident, I did it when I was in Japan. When I back to Canada, we I checked back the video. Oh, I didn't find this video at all. So, based on, based on my memory, I draw this picture. You can see you get the front entrance and enter the, to the changing room, and uh, you get a whole bunch of locker on the side of the wall, and you also get uh, some two uh, dress up station over there. You can dry your hair over there, and uh, after you get a short, another different room, you get a really nice wheel on the side covered by the transparent glass and uh, another side this shower you get a traditional Japanese shower you get a all about a, uh, I think four by eight meter the shower hot water top is about 40 degree it's pretty hot so make sure you get it enjoy it yeah I'm sorry for the video and uh, thank you. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, see you next time.